Previously on Spinelli Speaks. William Goldman's The Princess Bride. Hi everyone, Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. You may be asking yourself, Danny, I thought in your next time on, it was going to be your bullet journal for February. Yes, but in between that filming, I got my books and treasure box, and I thought since this weekend is Valentine's Day, and this is my February unboxing, it might have some really cute treasures in here. So I thought I would pause on my bullet journal <laughs> video and have that come out on the following Tuesday so that you could see my lovely Valentine-y February gifts. Now I have not opened this box so I could be wrong but I have a feeling that I'm not. So today is my February unboxing with Books and Treasures. Now Books and Treasures is a subscription box. I have a monthly subscription. It comes with all sorts of goodies and I'm going to show you those today. If you're new here, I hope you stick around, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and comment below, do you do a subscription box? And if so, what kind of subscription box do you do? Okay, so let's get right on into this. Now, I do not open this unless I'm with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and show you what we have. So of course, we have a lovely February box, all of our pinks and reds. You always have enjoy your book and it gives you how to follow books and treasures online. You always get a really nice card that shows you everything that is in the box. I put this down for now so that I can be surprised. Now books and treasures is a used book box. So for a thrifter like me, it's awesome. You get a used book, a cup, like a mug. Uh, you get a coffee, hot chocolate, or tea you're liking and then you get a bunch of little trinkets from artisans from online so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the first one out of the box and see what we have here I think I saw this on Instagram as a teaser oh, what is this oh my gosh it's a little like handmade notepad like note cards in here so it's like little white paper and then it's you could re it's like reusable so it's the sleeve you can take this out and use it again oh my gosh that's so cool that's really cool and then it's like has words on it, it looks like addresses and then little trees and little houses and little flags you can see that there and then the note cards in there. That's cool. I really like that. That's like a really nice size to put in your purse or a back pocket if your back pocket's that big. Wow, that's cool. I really like that. Oh, I always forget the card. <laughs> so we have a nice little card in here. Oh, love all the pretty hearts. Danny, roses are red, violets are blue. Here's a book we found just for you. Happy reading, books and treasures, Sarah and Rebecca. That is so sweet, I love cards. It's so nice to have that. I always forget to open it first, but. Woo, we got honey sticks again. These were in a past box and they're so good. I like to like use them for my tea. So more honey sticks, very nice. Let's see what's in this one. Okay. Oh, we got some bubble wrap. And precious treasures. I always love all of the really awesome gifts that we get in here, and you're always really surprised. Oh, oh, I'm starting to smell something almost like rose, maybe. Oh, <laughs> it is. It's a rose candle. Uh, it looks like from Forever Shine Collections. Oh, I can smell it even without opening it. Oh yes, yeah. see how it's red on the top too? It's very, ver very, very much rose scented. And it's a soy candle, so that's perfect. Oh, I love that. That's a really nice size candle too. Oh, 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 I'm so excited. I need this. So we have some chapstick. We have two here, and it looks like Lemon and Jolly Rancher. Oh, 
Lemon and Jolly Rancher. And this is, oh, it says Books and Treasures. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's like words in the, in the label. Like it's the printed right here. It's all like lettering. And it's chapstick, which I really need because if you can't tell, my lips are super chapped. So I'm really excited to have two of these. That's awesome. Oh, and it has a little quote. It has a little quote on it from John Green. It says, "Great books help you understand, and they help you feel understood." Ain't that the truth? Made it with cocoa butter, castor oil, olive oil, beeswax, soybean oil, canola oil. I like how you know, like you can like actually say all those ingredients. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I really need some chapstick. I've been running out real fast this year. We always have a handmade bookmark from Books and Treasures, and it's always one of these lovely stretchy ones. Um, this charm is really pretty. It's like a, almost looks like a sunflower almost. That's really nice. Wow, this is a great one. Oh, and here's the label for the honey sticks. Awesome. Let's see here. Ooh, this one's light. This is gonna be my mug or cup, depending on what they sent me this time around. Get this tape off of here without getting a paper cut. Oh! So I always get tea. Ooh, this is new. I don't think I've seen this brand before. Stashed. I got coconut mango and sart sal sarted. <laughs> Salted Caramel Mate? Mati? These are black tea and oolong tea. Ooh, I'm excited for that. But this, what is this? Is this a Moscow Mule Cup? <laughs> I think it is. Oh, neat. Oh, look at that. It's like a Moscow Mule Cup. I love the, look at the handle. It's like gold and it's got this cool little archy thing. This is so cool. I love it. Oh, I like this a lot. I love rose gold. These Moscow Mule Cups are so cool. That's awesome. That's really nifty. I like that. Okay, last time. Oh, last one is the book. The book. The book, the book. Very good book. Oh, the sticker says pretty things inside. Let's see. The book is called What Nora Knew by Linda Yellen. Huh. Let's see. Molly Halberg is a 39 year old divorced, I clearly cannot talk today, divorced writer living in New York City who wants her own column, a Wikipedia entry, and to never end up in her family's Long Island upholstery business. For the past four years, Molly's been on staff for an online magazine, covering all the wacky assignments. She snuck... Oh, I'm not reading that. <laughs> oh, this sounds interesting. It sounds like it's like a romance, like a... kind of like a... Um, I wouldn't say a romance novel, but I know it's not chiclet anymore, but that's what I would call it. I don't know what the proper verbiage is anymore, but this sounds fun. Isn't that cover kind of cool? That does kind of make me think of New York, like looking, going up really high and then seeing all the lands, all the skyscrapers. That's cool. Oh, I'm excited for that. So let's go ahead and find out what we all have here. So going back to my little card, we have the bookmark from Books and Treasures. So that's that lovely gray bookmark. Goes along with the book from them. And the candle is from the Fairy Hideout. We love the Fairy Hideout. They are one of the um, most popular artisans in there. And they have some really lovely stuff. So I'll link all of these artisans in the description below so you can check them out if you'd like. Um, the notebook is from fredandpolly.com. So that was really cool. I really liked this one. That was really nice. I like how that cover is reusable. And then we have the Honey Sticks from Crafts by... M. Say Ray, M. Say Ray, I think. And the lip balm is from Majestic Lips at Etsy. 
I'm excited for that. That's really awesome. And then of course we have our cup from Books and Treasures as well as our tea and our lovely card. I'm so excited. This was such a lovely box. I really, this was awesome. This was a really good box. Let me go ahead and show it to you all together, all opened for you. Woohoo! How exciting. What a wonderful box. I really love this. So awesome. Books and Treasures really does a great job of putting together awesome subscription boxes. And they have a few different options too. You can do some add-ons, you can do just a book. There's a lot of different things. So make sure you check them out if you're interested in some used books. Well, until next time, I hope you all are reading something great, taking care, and staying safe. As always, you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye! Next time on Spinelli Speaks. Today we are going to be doing February's bullet journal.